Visiting Credence, we got a lot of amazing songs for you tonight that have been around for quite a few years. So if you know the words, please sing along because you might be singing the right words. Well, I'm sure you've driven your car at some point in the last month, or you've noticed some high gas prices. That's kind of revisiting, pun intended, about what this song was written about another energy crisis back in the 60s.
very much. Well, how many of you remember the 60s? Yeah. You must not have had as much fun as you should have been. <laughs> well, who would like to sing along? I tell you what, it's a great way to stay warm. Just saying. And give yourselves a hand for sitting through this weather. I'm sure it's abnormal for you out here. I hate to say that it followed us from Chicago. But, uh... Beautiful weather. Anyway, how many Creedence fans we got with us tonight? Because yeah. if not, it's going to be a long night for you. <laughs> Sing along, please. My next question is, was anybody at Woodstock? Anybody wish they were at Woodstock? A couple of young kids, sure. I heard it was a good time, too. Is anybody alive because of Woodstock? <laughs> well, Kurt and I have had a lot of fun on the road with Creighton's Clearwater Revival members, Stu Cook and Doug Cosmo and Clifford, but we also spent a lot of nights on the tour bus hearing old stories about what this next song was written about, and it's about their experience at Woodstock. Please, sing along. proceed into more awesomeness. Let's introduce the band, shall we? Yes, yes, thank you. Back here on the drums, this guy has been all over the world like telephone wire. We've been lucky to pluck him off the road with the Steve Miller Band for this evening. He's played in bands like Foreigner, Cher, David Lee Roth, Richie Sambora, Greg Raleigh, the Knuckleheads, and countless others. Give it up! for Mr. Ron Wixo! Yeah! Telephone 
wire, but we all use cell phones now. But anyway, you know what I meant. This gentleman over here I've known for over 20 years. When he's not dunking on people on the basketball court, he's teaching future generations of kids music theory and lessons and all kinds of great stuff. Good friend of mine on the base, the pride and joy of Orland Park, Illinois, Mr. Matt Scarpelli! <laughs> partner in crime. We toured the world with Creedence Clearwater Revisited and like I mentioned ate a lot of junk food on the tour bus. He's also played with guys like Eddie Money and Greg Raleigh who was in Santana and Foreigner and all kinds of others as well from Camarillo, California. Give it up for Kurt Griffey. <laughs> And on lead vocals, yeah, again, with, uh, you know, my partner in crime here, uh, we ate pizzas on tour buses for many years. So, uh, one of my favorite lead singers in the world here, uh, from Chicago, Illinois, Mr. Dan McGinnis. say having grown up in Chicago my parents stuffed us all into a van and drove us down to beautiful Gatlinburg years and years ago we'd never seen a mountain before we were pretty freaked out but you live in a beautiful beautiful part of the country and uh, we're jealous of you this next song is uh, John Fogarty without knowing it wrote a beautiful love song and uh, we can only take interpretation of that he wrote it being uh, on the road all the time and coming home to a family that loved them and all that good stuff. So if you have a story like that in your life, this song is for you. Thank you. 